Did you forget already? <laughs> no. What are you nerding I just, out about? I know. Okay, that one. Like... Finally, your kids get one right. Right. Um, no, it's just the third nerding out thing. And I was like, wait, what? Um, so, <laughs> battle game in five seconds. I was wondering how long it would take people to see it. <laughs> I saw well, it. I don't I, look at it until I get here. Yeah, so Battle Game in Five Seconds is an anime title. Did you guys want to guess what it's about <laughs> before we <laughs> get into it? It's, battle it's, Game in... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, I have an I'm answer. going way sideways. Yep. It's a social media parody where people are trying <laughs> to explain this Battle Game in Five Seconds, like Battle Game for Dummies, and somehow it all goes awry. They get sucked into the demon internet. The demon internet. Okay. That's my guess. <laughs> I'm going to guess it is. Ta- it takes place in the middle school, in a middle school on the playground where people throw rocks at each other for five seconds. <laughs> I played that game when I was in middle school. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, so the main character is constantly playing video games because real life is not stimulating enough for him. Um, so he, he does well in school and everything, even though he plays video games all throughout school and whatnot. Um, and so he wishes that his life was more exciting, more like a video game. And that wish becomes somewhat of a reality. Uh, he gets him and a a whole group of other people are pulled off into uh, kind of a hunger games esque thing where, but they, there's a supernatural twist where they have powers. Demon Um, internet. I nailed it. And, um, and so his power is a very roundabout weird power. It is whatever the other person thinks his power is. And so he he basically has to play mind games with them to get them to think about what his power is so that he can activate his power. Because if they don't have a solid image of what his power is, what they think his power is, then his he it won't activate for him. I'm sorry. That is the stupidest premise I've heard. Like like because that's <laughs> the e- it's the easiest thing to rig. You go, hey, hey, Joe. Um don't think about me having robotic arms and laser eyes. I win. So he actually runs into people where they're told what his pow- his power supposedly is, but because they doubt it, it won't activate. And oh, so just telling them twist. isn't yeah. sufficient. So for for a lot of the people because they doubt it. I think a more appropriate title is you power me up. <laughs> Okay. Um but yeah, it it's pretty good. It's only got one season. Uh it's on Crunchyroll. And uh yeah. Well, hello, True Dorman. Uh yeah, no, you put Crunchyroll. I know Kurt's not putting anything from Crunchyroll here. Which, <laughs> by the way, I I was looking at I think the current Demon Slayer is on Crunchyroll right now. I th- the, the current season. I thought it was the, supposed to the, be. the first episode did drop, yeah. Yeah, I sent you a I sent you a screenshot from it. Uh, Oh, that wasn't that episode. Well, yeah, no. I mean, (laughs) go ahead. I so I I told my wife I had a cursed image to show her, and she's in the Mm -hmm. middle of taking a bite of food and drinking, and I show it to her, and she real close to spit takes, and she puts her she puts her mouth over the sink just in case she's gonna spit it out. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty good. Thumbs up. Demon Slayer in a nutshell is uh, Zenitsu biting the head of of uh, Tanjiro. Tanjiro, thank you. I, I wanted to call him Demon Slayer, but uh, Tanjiro. There it is. And, and I forget the line is like, "Do you know how I feel?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know how I have it? And it's just, Kurt. Am I wrong? Does that not just if you had to describe what's Demon Slayer about? You just show him that picture, like, "Hey, you like, <laughs> you like the show?" Yeah, pretty um, much. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So. Um, I'm near nerding out about Control, which is a little bit older game. Mm-hmm. I think it, it's I've heard about it, but it came to it came to uh, the Unlimited Game Pass here last month. I want to say is when it landed, and I was like, you know, that looks interesting. And I watched the uh, 
the trailer they let you see what it's about and like okay that really looks interesting and what it is is i can't tell you basically uh you need don't watch any walkthroughs just watch the like launch trailer or something like that it is essentially a government organization you're in this weird building and it's called control and in this world there it's kind of like x files right there's this secret government organization that's u.s government right that is there for the the abnormal power objects that that happen in the world and, and the chaos they cause so they're, they're kind of like the it's not paranormal it's i'm not even sure what it is to be honest here's a little hint just just this is the opening of the game what well, you're your first person right it's not a shooter it's more of an adventure game i mean there's some shooting aspects don't get me wrong but it's it's like action adventure if you will uh, from a first person standpoint and you walk into the building and it's the intro of the game right i mean we're, we started off in the building and she's talking the character's talking so as a player i'm assuming she's talking to me and then it comes clear that something spins on the screen it's almost kind of in your eyes but not in your eyes and it becomes clear she's talking to that and then it's not for it's got some dark adult themes okay so you hear a gunshot you go into a room and there's a dude unalive by his own choosing and you have no choice but to go pick up the gun it's interesting and so the way it ties the box so i said i'm learning out about that and i'm telling you if, if i even got one moment there that you thought was interesting i'm not describing it well enough it is art style is amazing the sound is crazy um and what i love about it the most is you have reasons to not know why things are going on so we're learning new stuff as a player at the same time the character is learning new stuff as are some of the actual surrounding characters because of what's going on it reminds me i've been listening to this season of botched and they picked scp now botch is a uh D, D loose D D improv show uh with some drunken misfits not and for kids at not all for, no, <laughs> no but they did scp which is a monster universe it's a cure contain protect i think is what it stands for it has its own and so they've been mixing some D D rules with that world it's gone well this game kind of feels like that it, it, you hear them talking about going back to the site and scp and and researching these objects it controls very object based and the two combined has just been great. And if you're, if you're into D and D, but you want something different, you definitely check out Botch. but it is, it's not even rated R. It's like NC 17. <laughs> that with that? I mean, they're they're, Yeah. Yeah. But, but <laughs> I, I will say this, this season of the botched might actually be my favorite. Um, it just, Me they, too. They, they've, Me too. they've really embraced the theme and really got into it. Had a really successful launch of this season. Um, I like it for yeah. slightly different reasons because the way it's set up with that universe is they get to try all kind of good characters and all kind of jokes. And if a joke or a chain is not going the right way, it's contained in an episode and they can kill the characters off and then just roll new ones. Right. And it just keeps it fresh and new. And they're, they are, I always knew they were talented, I always knew they were funny. But to me, it's really showing off the the width and breadth of their talents. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I think it's um, great. So, uh, yeah, um, right, Kelsey, you might want to fast forward uh, ten minutes here. Uh, <laughs> so, what I'm nerding out about is uh, a new, well, not new, new to me, uh, anime on Netflix. It just entered its second season. Oh, uh, called okay. Blood of Zeus. Wait. You're confusing me, Kurt. That's because you I didn't look the at the second wrote, column. <laughs> I know I am. I thought what you wrote was this title. Like, wait, wait, wait. wait. There's an anime with that title on it. Yeah, and <laughs> and and never trust my first column. So, um, <laughs> it's meant for you. Period. Uh, so, gentle blood- listeners, if you like me, you're tired of old pappy's nonsense. Go to Patreon.com/slash Wise underscore and underscore nerdy. Pledge at the Scott Shatier level, and we can just fire him. That's cool. Oh, I'm just waiting for you to stop your yapping. <laughs> <laughs> Very appropriate. Um, so, Blood of Zeus. Um, I and I'm not. I'm only like um, 
most of the first episode into it. So I really haven't watched oh. a whole lot of it. But I and you said it was on Netflix, right? It is. Yep. Okay. And I really um I so I really enjoy traditional mythology. And the premise seems to be, oh, you're familiar with Zeus and the old gods and, and that mythology. Well, here are the stories that you didn't hear. Um, about right. back then and it was and it's been pretty cool so far so um again i i don't i don't know if i'm gonna end up sticking with it i think i am but i've got enough interest right now where it feels good well and charles didn't you watch um castlevania yeah this is done by the same animation studio oh, okay right. and i heard uh, really good things about castlevania i just it, haven't it, watched it i need to get back into it because it's deep anime I mean, it was very just the sensibilities and the stylings and the writings. And it was, it was almost like you dive in that deep end off the high dive and you get out and you're like, I'll get back to that high dive after a while. Let me let me swim around. So I think I'm ready to get back into it. I've got through the first season and most of the second because it's also very horror based, which is on the edge of what I like. I don't I like suspense and monsters, but I mean, there's there's some some actual horror base to it that's i get why people love it and of course it suits the game but it's yeah it's, it's so the, the the other thing about blood of zeus is it is not for kids uh it's tv ma and in the first episode someone's lower jaw gets severed from the rest of his body well that, uh, and, and well yeah. and by that i mean the top of his head gets severed by the from the rest of his body yeah. uh, but through the jaw and it it's it's full on bloody it just is. Uh, so nah, I mean, want. that makes sense with the Castlevania series. Yeah. What, what did I miss where you said that where you can watch it? Netflix. All right. I guess I'll cue that one up too. Yep. And the second season just hit, which is why they were promoting it. And I went, I like mythology. Let's take a look at it. And so far, no over the top screaming kids and stuff. It's, it's, it's definitely no Percy Jackson. Uh. <laughs> I gotta tell you, the Percy Jackson series. I, I, you know, I didn't read the books, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So it's um, all right. Yeah, and X Men wrapped up, but I'm not ready to talk about it yet. <laughs> that, that's good because I've only watched the first two episodes. I, I finished it up last night. I caught up with the last two episodes. Uh, they didn't do what I thought they were going to do, but um, but I'm okay with it. Um. So anyhow, yeah, but Joe some, some Joe put in a. Really interesting fourth choice. Is this like the first time I put it in and it, it was a fan made thing? No, no. this was actually announced. Okay. Am Amazon is going to be working on a live action Spider Man series starring Nicolas Cage as Spider Man. Spider Man Noir. Noir. <laughs> yep. Has to be Noir because he's. I was, I was waiting for noir. you to. I was waiting for you to be like. What a sixty-year-old Spider-Man? <laughs> no, yeah, Spider-Man Noir. <laughs> you forget who you're talking to here. So, yeah, I, I I am optimistically cautiously optimistic. That's what yeah, I'm going with. Me too. And I think, look, Nicolas Cage has been wanting to play Superman, a superhero, a superhero. Uh, look, he did Ghost Rider. I barely count that because it was kind of terrible. But, but I mean that that's Nicolas Cage. Right. Either it's great or it's terrible. That's just right. That's Nicolas Cage. But him wanting to be Superman for so long and having gone through the test picture pictures and the scripting yeah. and everything, that would have been a train wreck beyond all train wrecks. He would <laughs> he should never play Superman. Um, <laughs> however, Spider Man Noir, that might be the right character for him and whenever i think of nicholas cage you get okay. neither of you have watched community right yeah well, i watched it yeah oh, okay you both did okay it makes me think of of the nicholas cage episode where abed has his meltdown about nicholas cage yeah yes. <laughs> yeah yeah yep uh two questions one is i, I i'm sitting wrong here but have you watched uh, through the spider-verse skirt yes so I mean Nicholas Cage he, he is, is noir. I mean he is his perfect character for him. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, even live action, I think it would be because you keep the mask on. Right. Whatever. Right. Most of the time. Um 
Now, the real question is, are they going to actually do it black and white? I kind of hope they do. Uh, Because I think it worked really well for... um, Or Sepia. What was that? Yeah. Yeah. But the um, what's what's the werewolf one? I'm now blanking on it. Werewolf by night. Werewolf by night. Yeah. I think it works really well with that. I think they could... I think they could do it really well with with Spider-Man Noir as well. Yep. And I think they do... I, 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 again, who the heck knows what they're doing, but... But I think if they went the black and white with the occasional hint of color, mm. like they did with Werewolf by Night, and like uh, Sin City is is another oh, example, yeah. right? That, yeah. that kind of hyper realistic view, black and white. That I want that actually. I want Sin City. Spider-Man I agree because because yeah. actually Sin City is noir, really. Yeah, hundred percent. And it right. was so, uh, was that Mark Miller? Uh, uh, that. Yeah, uh, Frank Miller. Frank Miller. Frank Miller. Yeah. Um, so I think I think if they were to hyper stylize it like that, I think that could be very cool, very very cool. Yeah. So cautiously optimistic is a great way to feel about that. 